I studied some molecular genetics in college and medical school, and I also got a master's in biochemistry in medical school. So when I finally got around to doing a medical genetics elective as a fourth year student, it just kind of all came together and I said, this is what I wanted to do and I never really looked back after that. I'm really excited about going to work in the morning. I really like the idea of going to work. I know that every day I'm going to learn something new, I'm going to do something different. Um, this field is changing so quickly that you just have to hold on to your hat and see what's coming. You, you could never be bored. I have a very, very diverse patient population. Some geneticists will um, specialize in one area or another, but I am very uh, diverse in that I see preconception, prenatal patients, neonatal, pediatric, adult, cancer. I, I like the diversity, so I never quite know who I'm going to see on any given day. I did have the flexibility when my kids were younger to work less hours um, and be there for them, which I really appreciated. There's a lot of flexibility within the field. It's not like if you go home, you, it's very unusual that you would get called back into the hospital at night, for example, and I really appreciated that. But now I, now I can work as long as I want. I really enjoy seeing patients and getting to know the families. Um, there's a, we do have to give out a lot of bad news in genetics, but we also give out good news and there's uh, a lot of interactions with families and you really get to know them and um, they get to know you and you feel like you're, you're all one big team and uh, I really enjoy that. I also enjoy the fact that we can do so much more now for our families than we could 20 years ago in terms of management and treatment and that's going to continue to expand. There's huge change coming, um, so much faster than we've seen ever before with the new technologies. Um, and one of the things I'm interested in is ethics and how we apply the new technologies and make sure we do it in an ethical fashion. So I'd like to be a part of that going forward. We have all this great technology. The question is, should we be using it? Just because we have it doesn't mean it's the right thing to do. So we have to do what's right for our patients. And we, if we do have all this information, who's going to keep it, who's going to have access to it, um, do patients really want all of this information, do, should we bombard them with it, should we own, who's going to decide how much information we give them, should we hold anything back, should we be testing pediatric patients, should we be testing everybody on the newborn screen and get all the information then, you know, and, ha and how do we get it back to the patients and families in a way that's going to be helpful to them but not hurtful. We're going to be determining where we're going with all of this new technology that's coming at us very quickly. I've been in genetics for 20 years and everything has totally changed in 20 years, but in the next five years it's going to change even much faster than we could have ever imagined and they're going to be at the forefront of all that. So they're going to have to decide what it is that they want to do and how they're going to be a part of it. There's so many opportunities for a geneticist these days. You can do all clinical work, you can do laboratory, you can do research, you can do education, you can get into health policy. It's really just a matter of deciding what it is that's best for you at this time um, and, and then going for it.